Hey, what's going on, Z Nation? Zade here, ZSPN, and welcome to the Lakers post game show on ZSPN on YouTube. And today, guys, we're going to talk about the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Golden State Warriors tonight. A huge win for the Los Angeles Lakers after going 4 and 0 after the All Star break. And guys, when it comes down to it, Long live the king, okay? King James came to play to win tonight for the Los Angeles Lakers tonight. And uh, I'll get into the stats and everything when it comes to the Lakers, how they achieved this win after beating the Golden State Warriors, the number two seed in the Western Conference. And I want to give you all my thoughts about it. But before anything, like always, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all the good social media stuff. And of course, like always, please be sure to like my page on Facebook, ZSPN. And also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at ZSPN underscore sports. And always, there's, I also have a podcast, ZSPN on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Please show me the love and support there if you're working out or you know, or just driving and listen to the podcast or anything, make sure to subscribe to my podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. I really do appreciate you showing me the love support there and, of course, all across social media and, of course, on this channel. Uh, make sure to hit that notification bell that's right next to the subscribe button, and uh, I really do appreciate it. So, yeah, guys, let's talk about this Lakers win. I mean, it is a big win for the Los Angeles Lakers when it comes all said and done. And uh, when it comes down to it, I mean, you know, there was effort. There was effort. I mean, it was enjoyable to watch. I mean, for these past couple of games, when the Lakers were on that losing streak, there was no effort. There was no sort of uh, drive that the Lakers were on when it comes to, you know, winning games or trying to win games. But this time around, the Lakers came to play. They came to play, and it all comes down to the king, LeBron James. Okay, LeBron James, the goat, came out of nowhere and put on a great performance. I mean, he gave, he gave us 56 points out there tonight, and he made his three throws, and, you know, he I believe he went 6 of 11 from the three, and, he, you know, when it comes to field goals, I believe he was, um, I might be mistaken, I think he was like uh maybe 17 or 19 of 31. I mean, the, he was, he he was like, what's the word for it? I can't really think of it because it was so like out there. Like he was really showing that he wanted to win this game at any given cost. I'm going to take the ball and just deliver for the city of LA at crypto.com arena. And now, you know, when it comes down to it, he just came to play and it was just so exciting to see how LeBron just turned on his goat mode and decided to win us the game tonight. And I was just so impressed by his performance guys at age 37. I mean, Wow. I mean, for a guy of his age in his 19th year in the NBA, achieving that and, you know, putting up numbers, it, it's something to really admire, guys. And, you know, when it comes down to, you know, how many years he's going to play in the NBA, uh, he's going to be in the discussion as one of the greatest NBA players of all time. I mean, there's just no doubt in my mind that he will be in the conversations next to Michael Jordan next to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, uh, you know, Kobe. I mean, all of those certain um, players in the NBA, when it comes all said and done, he's in that conversation no matter what. And he's already made that well-known throughout his uh, career, and he has a resume to prove that. So overall, guys, LeBron James, he just came to play, and I was just so impressed that he really took over the game and really – delivered us this win. And, you know, we have to give some credits uh, for the rest of the Lakers. I mean, let's not ignore some of the help that came that, the way for the Lakers to win tonight. Uh, Russell Westbrook had 20 points out there tonight. So, you know, we have to give him uh, some credit out there, even though uh, there's been rumors and updates about his uh, status with the Lakers and just recently with Mark Stein that, um, you know, when it comes down to it, I mean, we already know that, um, there's some speculations that, you know, he wants out of L.A. And, uh, 
but you know there's some more into this when it comes to um, you know the Lakers uh, wanting him back and uh, all indications are showing that it's impossible impossible that Russell Westbrook will return next season from the Lakers I mean even though he will pick up his player option but this indications in the offseason that he could be traded so the signs of him staying in LA is questionable and you know we just have to wait and see what will what will go down in uh in the off season when it comes to the Lakers uh potentially looking for a trade that will best fit them and for Russell Westbrook when it comes all said and done but he did tonight put up 20 points out there tonight i mean not a great performance and a solid night for uh, Russell Westbrook. Uh, when it comes to the the rest of the Lakers, I mean, Austin Reeves had 10 points. I have to say, you know, he also played a huge role out there tonight as well uh, when it comes all said and done. I mean, he uh, showed some, um, you know, some defense out there that uh, was uh, noticeable and he really, uh, um, really brought his game, brought his, brought his game out there. And guys, you know, he is Something special to watch when it comes to a guy who's undrafted, and uh, you know when it comes down to it, he he's something special as well. And I really can't wait to see more out of uh, Austin Reeves, uh, you know, moving forward as a Los Angeles Laker. So uh, you know, a a great help for Russ, uh, uh, Austin Reeves out there tonight. Uh, so when it comes all said and done, and then um, you know when it comes to the rest. Uh, you know, uh, Malik Monk, I believe he had 12 points out there tonight. And then when you look at uh, Kamel Anthony, who made that three that to extend the Lakers uh, win that they were on, uh, I believe uh, he made a three and I believe he, he scored uh, 14 points out there tonight. So the shooting efforts of uh, Kamel Anthony was um, was needed as well. So obviously uh, it was um, we had to put uh, some uh Credit to where it's due when it comes to Kamala Anthony shooting that three in those uh, 45 seconds left into the game and, uh, you know, just, you know, extending the Lakers lead. And uh, but, you know, all signs and, you know, the headlines and everything when it comes to the Lakers win tonight, it was all because of the king, LeBron James. And uh, it was just great to see LeBron James go out there and just really delivering a, a great performance. There was some effort. That's what we were missing from the Lakers. For these past game, past couple of games, and even this season so far, the only problem that we were suffering when it comes to seeing Lakers games was is that there was no effort. There was no aggressiveness. There was no passion out there when it comes to the Lakers winning games. But this time around, I wish we can see this more often. But, you know, moving forward with, I believe, 19 games remaining, you know, the Lakers, you know, could we see this from the Lakers moving forward? I don't think so. Because this is just a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity when it comes to seeing LeBron putting up numbers like that. So uh, can he do it again? He could shock us all and do it. But uh, I won't uh, bet on it when it comes to... Uh, uh, that sort of instance. So when it comes down to it, uh, could the Lakers win a couple of games moving forward? Yes, I can see that happening. But if if there's if this is like a turning point for most Laker fans when it comes to seeing this great performance and the Lakers getting a win over the Golden State Warriors, um, I don't see that happening whatsoever. And uh, I hate to say that, but you know this is just the truth of what how the Lakers are. And where they stand right now. And, uh, you know, hopefully, um, you know, with this type of win, that there's some motivations for the Lakers to give us great performances and a great effort when it comes all said and done. But uh, we just had to, you know, wait and see. I mean, you know, the Lakers could turn things around, but, you know, it's so questionable at the moment, uh, you know, where the Lakers at now when it comes to uh, their record and where they're at in the in the standings uh, when it comes to, you know, the Lakers still being the ninth seed in the uh, Western Conference, basically in the play-in tournament. So, um, you know, hopefully the Lakers, this could be a turning point, but 
Um, you know, we just have to wait and see because, you know, the Lakers, you know, as it stands, you know, they're so unpredictable when it comes to, uh, you know, each game. Can they win this one? Can they win that one? I mean, it's just a, it's just a, a, a toss up, you know, when it comes to the Lakers facing certain teams uh, in this uh, in this season so far. And I mean, just look at look back in the beginning of the season. Uh, when the Lakers were facing the OKC Thunder, there was times when before the games ever started, the Lakers uh, the, and the betting odds were thinking that the Lakers will beat them. Uh, but sadly, uh, they lost to them twice. And uh, it was just uh, the Lakers lose when it comes to certain matchups, some winnable ones. And uh, it was just uh, very sad to watch. And uh, obviously when it comes you know, all said and done, you know, the Lakers, they're, this is not their, their, their year, honestly. I mean, you know, it's just the way it is, guys. But, you know, this one is a win. And I was just so impressed by LeBron's performance and how the Lakers just showed some effort out there when it comes all said and done. And uh, let's just leave it at that and just say that the Lakers brought the game brought Lakers basketball to the table and just, you know, showed up when it all matters most. So uh, let's just uh, put those type of uh, positivities there and uh, just uh, move on. And hopefully the Lakers could win a game or two moving forward in these 19 games remaining. And uh, hopefully the Lakers start to turn things around uh, posit positive uh, when it comes to, um, you know, winning some winnable ones you know, potentially moving forward, but, you know, still remains to be seen about that. So, and I believe uh, Monday, the Lakers are facing the San Antonio Spurs. So uh, that's uh, another matchup that, you know, on paper, the Lakers could get a win over, but, you know, we just have to wait and see. I mean, you know, it's just so unpredictable these days when it comes to the Lakers and facing certain uh, teams uh, that are, you know, winnable ones, but, you know, just have to wait and see about that. So, uh, guys, please comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel. Please give me your thoughts about LeBron James' performance. And, you know, if you guys are watching this, please comment down below, La Goat, okay? Please, uh, I, I really want to know your thoughts about that. And uh, what do you think about the Lakers in general in this uh, win tonight against the uh, Golden State Warriors? Who do you think uh, really stepped up uh, besides LeBron James? Was it Camelo Anthony? Was it uh, Russell Westbrook? Or maybe it was Austin Reeves, maybe Malik Monk. I mean, it's just uh, the list uh, out there of some Lakers out there that really uh, stepped up to the plate alongside LeBron was just uh, sensational on their part, taking down the number two seed in the Western Conference. So it's just something to really uh, admire when it comes to the Lakers just, you know, stepping up and, you know, you know, it was just uh, it was just great to watch. I mean, we haven't seen this for quite some time from this Lakers team. So it's just always great to see the Lakers win games uh, and uh, when it comes to needed ones. And uh, it was just uh, it was just great. And I was just so impressed by the Lakers tonight and especially from LeBron. It's just uh, sensational, very sensational. And hopefully they can keep this up uh, moving forward uh, until uh, the season um, is the regular season is over until uh, the play-in tournament, we just have to see uh, if they will get through that. But, you know, it's we just have to wait and see. So, guys, please comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Make sure to like all of my social media sites, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at ZSPN underscore sports. I'll leave the links to those in the description of this video so you guys can check out my social media sites. And, of course, guys, uh, subscribe to my podcast, uh, Apple Podcast, uh, ZSPN, Apple Podcast, Spotify, Radio Public. I'll leave the link to that in the description as well. Show them the love support there. And, of course, uh, subscribe to the channel, ZSPN, on YouTube. Hit that notification bell so you will know when I upload on this channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe out there. And long live the king of L.A. Take it easy, guys.